to set the torque wrench to the correct spec, we're going to unlock it with this nut here and spin it to 27. And right now, we're, it's, it's a lose on 10 foot pounds. So right here is 10. So we're gonna spin it up to 20. And you're going off of the bottom line that connects it to that center line. And make sure you're on the foot pound side. If we flip it to the other side, then I think it's Newton meters or something like that. We just use the foot pounds, twist it up to the 20. So we'll go up to that line. And then when this zero meets up with the center line, we're at 20 foot pounds and we'll spin it right here to the seven mark, which is in between the eight and the six. We'll tighten that up and now we can torque our bolts. So now we'll go ahead and torque these up to 27 foot pounds. And do note that whenever you're tightening these, it's not gonna have a very crisp like click whenever you're tightening lug nuts. Since we're at a lower torque, it'll be a little harder to notice. You just gotta feel for it right there. And then we'll do that to the bottom bolt here. Right there. So now both of these are torqued to 27 foot pounds. So we're gonna torque these wheels to 88 foot pounds. So we'll tighten it until we get to the 80 foot pound line and then spin it to the eight right there. And then we can lock it. And then go ahead and tighten the lug nuts in the star pattern. So this little knob here that you can turn to lock it so this won't spin or unlock it. Well, sometimes it freezes. I can't unspin this. So sometimes you just have to take a pair of pliers and take it off with a pair of pliers, which kind of makes you feel like a wimp, but it works. Now we can unlock it. And if your torque wrench is all, if it's up here, high in torque, you know, like at 88, if you just torque the lug nuts, what you wanna do is you wanna take the spring down. You always wanna decompress the spring, but you don't wanna spin it all the way down. You wanna take it right to 10 foot-pounds. So that's right, right there is 10 foot-pounds. Then we can lock it in place, and now the torque wrench is ready to store.